Hello little artists! Welcome to our next art lesson. Today we are painting a field of poppies. For the lesson today please prepare a piece of A4 paper. I will be painting with acrylic paint but you can use watercolor as well. We will need red, white, yellow, dark green, bright green, pink or any other shade of red and blue and black. The brushes. Uh, it's very important that one of the brushes is flat rectangular shape because we will be using the whole surface of the brush. Another bigger brush to make splashes. Warning for the parents, if you don't want your children make splashes, just don't show this video at all. <laughs> Another small brush with a pointy end to draw the stems and of course water to rinse the brushes. Uh, before painting I recommend affixing the paper with a builder tape, uh, affixing it to the table so it doesn't move around and doesn't so it doesn't slip. Uh, we need a palette. Also please prepare some paper towel so we can clean up any accidents very quickly if they happen and uh, to dry the brushes and we will be painting with the cotton buns again. So let's get started! Oh, hello Sophia! Are you going to help me today? Do you know what we're drawing? We're drawing a field of poppies. What color are the poppies? Do you know what color are the poppies? They're red. Beautiful big red flowers. What would you like to begin with? Sky, trees or the grass? Let's begin with the sky. We need to take blue paint and mix it. You can use your palettes, just not to waste any paint. I will be using the container. So if there is any paint left, after we finish the painting, I can close it with the lid and it stays safe until the next painting. And mix it with white. Here we will be painting the sky. This is the sky, blue color. These will be the trees and this will be the grass. So you can paint the blue here. This will be the sky. <laughs> yeah, here the sky. Wonderful. Hey, love it. Very bright color. So blue. You are very skillful. Wonderful! Yeah, just a little bit here and there. Thank you. Can I paint just a little bit over here to cover all the paper? Let's move on to painting the trees. Imagine these are the trees on the background. Will you rinse the brush, please? And for the trees on the background, we will be using dark green paint. If you don't have dark green, you can simply mix some light green with black here. Take some green. And let's paint next bit here, this area, between the sky and uh, the line here. <laughs> yes! 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 That's perfect! It shouldn't be ideally straight line, because there is no straight line in the nature. And now we need to use the light green color to make this field, to prepare the background for our beautiful poppies. Uh, let's paint here with green. Where's that going to be? Here. Where's that to be? Here, everywhere. It's going to be the grass. Yes, be brave. Yeah, go for it. Yes, good. That's good. That's very good. Yes, that's very good. <laughs> oh, that's very good square. Is it a square? Or is it a road? A path in the field? A mm, square. A square. Would you like to paint inside the square? Hmm, that's interesting. Interesting. Hmm? That's interesting. That's interesting. Let's add some white. Yeah. Because I want the color of the grass be a bit more different from the color of the trees on the background. That's right, I will turn this green color into the grass. And uh, to Add some more sunshine to our painting. Let's use a bit of yellow. Have you been enjoying sunny weather these days, Sophia? We have a beautiful poppy field not far from our home. Would you like to go and see it one day very soon? Yeah? I will do it. That's lovely. Next, we step outside and we'll make some splashes. <laughs> do you like making splashes? So do I. 
prepare some green color and make it a bit more runny. What is going to be? This is going to be a field of poppies, but we haven't painted any poppies yet, but we will in a minute. After we make splashes, prepare some dark green. Just mix green with water. And the last paint we need to prepare is to have some blue mixed with white. Some water. So shall we step outside and Yay! do some naughty, naughty splashes? <coughs> Sophia, look, first we will be splashing with blue paint. Take this brush and swing in about this blue area here. <coughs> Yay! It's lovely. Wonderful there. Well done, Sophia. Wonderful. Yeah, that's how it should be. Look. Yes? You're getting it now? Yeah. That's it. That's it. Another color is dark green. Dark green. Yes. Dark green. Do you want to do it together? Yeah. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Yay. Yay, that's good, that's good. Let's take next color. It's not trendy, mommy. Take this bright green and splash here. Now, when Sophia made these lovely splashes and they're completely dry, we are ready to begin the next step, painting the poppies. To paint the poppies, we need to use both red and pink, and we will be using them in the unusual way. I'll squeeze to paint very closely together, like this. Now, please take your rectangular brush, and we will be painting with two colors at the same time. So try to take both colors on the brush, like this. And I'm going to paint poppies. Painting one open poppy. Let's paint some more. And this time I will paint close poppy. Very easy, just a few strokes, shaping the flower. Now let's move on to our small brush, which is very pointy. Let's take dark green color and we will be painting the um, sort of the shell of the closed poppy. Just repeat this shape of the flower, both sides. And the closed poppies, they always sort of look down and uh, we're going to show it. And now I'm going to draw a few more poppy buds, but they are really close now. They're just about to come out. So I'm just drawing this elongated shape with a stem. So now I need to wait while the green color gets dry and uh, I'll move on to the red poppies that I've already painted. I just want to add sunlight to the painting. Uh, what I will do, I'll mix some yellow paint with the red and do the same trick. But this time I will be painting with a bit more yellow color. Again, I'm taking both pink, red and a bit of yellow on my brush and uh, just add some more petals. You can experiment and uh, add some white. So the idea here is to make flowers really bright and some smaller flowers the background a bit further away 
from our point of view. And I'm just painting some flowers there with a few brush strokes. And the poppies, they have black middle. I'll take the small brush again and mix dark green with black and draw this middle. Now with the same small brush, I take some red and orange color. These are poppies and they're blossoming. Some of them are open their heads and some of them are still closed. And those that are closed, you can only start seeing the red color through. I'm painting these poppies and Sophia, would you like to paint some field flowers? Yes! Blue paint. Here's one cotton bud for you. Dip it in and uh, paint these petals. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, lovely. Now try to paint them a tiny bit closer. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, it's lovely. Would you like to paint some chamomiles now? Mom, this is mommy and daddy. This is mommy and daddy. And this is Sadie and Beauvin. That's right. <coughs> Can I draw another flower? Yes. Look how to draw the chamomile. I just take some white paint with my cotton bud and I draw these lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's great. That's great. I love it. This is daddy. Mm -hmm. Daddy chamomile. He's dancing. Chamomile has See. yellow middle. And I think we need to add some more blue flowers. One, two, three, four. And the uh, yellow middle. If you use your imagination, you can turn these green splashes on the background into the trees. Sophia, I think this painting is really beautiful. Thank you so much for your help. You're such a wonderful artist. I love this painting. Full of flowers and full of sun. Well, little artist, I we hope you enjoyed this lesson and uh, we can't wait to see your puppies. Please do send your paintings into our WhatsApp group. You can find the link in the description below. And Sophia and I are very excited to show you the paintings that we received from our previous lessons. Thank you for your thumbs up. Can you show thumbs up? <laughs> yeah, thank you for your thumbs up. And subscribe to this channel to receive notifications about new lessons. And uh, hope to see you next week. Bye, little artists. Keep on creating. Enjoy the sunshine. Let's blow the kiss. <laughs>